Good morning, my dear brothers and sisters in Christ. May the Lord be with you this very day and always. May his face shine upon you and give you peace. It is a troubling world. It is a terribly troubling world we live in. Sin has become normal, as the Bible told us it would. We are at the point you must see the signs where good is evil and evil is called good. We are there, my loves, but you must understand that while we are there, it is a difficult time. Remember Lot sitting at the gate. His heart was vexed by what was going on. He wasn't able to change it. And he sat at the gate and the angels came and took him out. Noah, he was vexed when he saw all of the generations before him sinning and profaning God. But he stayed with God and God ministered to him until he took him into the ark and raised him up above all of the tribulation that was to happen, all of the destruction. He did not go into the destruction. He was saved above. We are to be saved above. Let no man dissuade you on that. Our souls will be saved above. Let no man dissuade you of that. Instant from death the moment with the Lord. We don't sleep in the ground. It's instant. That time has passed when it was soul sleep. Although what they called soul sleep wasn't what we call soul sleep. They didn't know nothing. They were either in Abraham's bosom, which was paradise, or they were where the wealthy man was in hell. Even at the time of Jesus, there was already that distinction. What happened before Abraham, maybe that was soul slip. I don't know. I haven't any knowledge of before Abraham. But we do know that at the point of Abraham, paradise was opened. And it was par Abraham's bosom, paradise he received in all the godly. This is truth. The Bible is true. The word of God is true. You know truth when you hear it. Use your discernment. Pray God for discernment because these days are full of lies. The advancement of the lies are so great now. You could be seeing someone that looks exactly like me and not know it's not me. It could be AI generated, but it could also be silicone masks that are so exacting that you cannot tell the difference. I don't know how many of you have have seen even, even the President of the United States. One minute, he's old and feeble and short. The next minute, he's suddenly a very tall, strong man, but his face is the same. They have made rubber masks, silicon rubber masks, that are so exact these days that if it wasn't for those little hints of like oh is it possible to gain six or seven inches in a day is it possible to be falling down feeble and then standing upright strong in a day we have to use our intellect in this day many people have turned off their intellect 
God gave it to you for a reason, to know the times, to know the truth. God gave you the capacity to remember. Remember what you've seen and put it together. Does it link up? Is it true? Or are you seeing someone changing? You must identify for yourself the truth because the world will not tell you the truth. The world is run by the, the father of all lies. So you have to cling closer to the God and your father of all truth. Now God is very, very serious about lies. He is very, very serious about He's very serious about wickedness. When I asked what could I talk to you about today, he opened the book in Psalm 73 and my eyes went immediately to this. And it's God's view of wickedness. I'm going to read it to you. It's Psalm 73 starting at verse 18. Surely thou didst set them in slippery places. Thou, thou casteth them down into destruction. How are they brought into desolation? As in a moment they are utterly consumed with terrors. As a dream when one awaketh, so, O Lord, when thou awakest, thou shalt despise their image. Thus my heart was grieved, and I was pricked in my reins. So foolish was I, and ignorant. I was as a beast before thee, nevertheless I am continually with thee. Thou hast holden me by my right hand. Thou shalt guide me with thy counsel, and afterwards receive me to glory. Whom have I in heaven but thee? And there is none upon the earth that I desire beside thee. My flesh and my heart faileth me, but God is my strength of my heart and my portion for ever. For lo, they that are far from thee shall perish. Thou hast destroyed them all and go that go a whoring from thee. But it is good for me to draw near to God. I have put my trust in the Lord God that I may declare all thy works. Those that are far from God, they are going to be down. They are going to be pulled down into all desolation. There is no hope for those that do not strive for the Lord. But you, my brethren, my beloved, you need to continue to strive for your faith. Contend for the faith. Even though it feels like you are being pulled down and away from the Lord. There are times that we maybe cannot, in our, in our beast, in our flesh, we cannot feel the Lord near us. And sometimes that's in times of absolute despair, in troubles, there are times that it seems overwhelming to us. But that doesn't mean the Lord isn't there with us. When you can't hear him, there is so much noise going on in you. Sometimes that noise is because you have allowed distractions to come into you. But just as in this day and age, you cannot recognise using the, the eyes of the flesh. You cannot recognise, is that who that is? Is that happening as it's happening? Because your flesh eyes are seeing one thing, but you need your spiritual eyes to see the truth. You are seeing wonderful things happening, coming together and wonderful leaders seeming to come together and saying the right things, but we don't know the spirit behind that until we look at the fruit. 
I know I have warned you in the past and the eyes of truth need to look at the leaders that are coming up. Yes, they are being put in place by God. Most assuredly, God will give you the leaders that you deserve. But now listen to this. Who is gathering? There are spirits gathering around certain people. And what are the fruits of those spirits that are gathering and coming into agreement with them? The musk is coming and sounding like he is worthy. But what is the musk doing? He's creating Neuralink. He is creating nanotechnology so tiny that it can be administered to you through a mosquito bite. The world is all on one trajectory to the end. If you are with the world, you will be absorbed into it and you will not see the truth, but you must stay away from the world. You must look at what's going on. The um, technology of the internet and the microwaves that are being bombarding you daily, some of those internet wavelengths, in particular of the 5G and 6G, and, and as they progress, we don't know what's out there now because then they're not telling you about the latest and greatest in their estimation. They're not telling you about the director skull information that they're doing. They're not telling you they already have hacked millions of people, billions of people. Once the nanotechnology went into people, they became a part of the network of things. That network, network of things can give them back information. You may be standing beside somebody thinking that person is safe, but that person may be radiating back to the hive mind what it sees. They won't even know that they are a receiver and a transmitter of information. We are getting to the point where God said, your household will be your enemy. Not necessarily knowing they're your enemy, but they will inform on you. How will they inform on you? Perhaps Perhaps it will be that they will hand you over physically. But what if they are simply relaying the information of where you are, what you're doing, what you're saying, and delivering you up in that way? This new technology can also, when you cannot hear the word of God, in your body, in your spirit. Remember the devil has means and powers. He is not without power. Remember when we were told that one of the prophets, at the moment, forgive me, I forget his name, one of the prophets had asked God for a message. And he didn't seem to receive it. God heard him. But this man could not hear the message. And God had to send the message via an angel. Because there was so much interference, God had to send the message via an angel. And the angel said to, to wait on. And the angel said that 
he was withheld. The prince of Persia was in a battle with him, holding back the angel's message. And it wasn't until the archangel Michael came and fought for him that he was able to come through. That was a prophet of God needing to hear a message. Do you not think that there is a force that is trying to stop you hearing the word of God. So whenever you cannot hear his word in your spirit, you have his word in the word. You have his word in the holy book. It is the holy book. It has the whole word. What you and I needed an answer today, and God opened that answer to me at the time I needed it. You too can find his word. You do not have to worry. I'm not hearing it. Has he not talked to me? Is he ignoring me? No, he is not ignoring you, nor is he ignoring me. We are being attacked, but there is nothing no weapon formed by the enemy that can overcome you because you have every answer you need. Every answer is here. Ask in humility and you will receive. Ask and you shall receive. God is merciful and he is truly truly with you but you may not always know he's there unless you know he's there if you know he's there you know he's there with you time is coming you will not be able to find bibles learn the word put it in your heart as much as you can your heart is, you are so wonderfully made, your heart has a mind. They have discovered it. There is memory in your heart. It has a brain. You have a big brain here, but you have a brain in your heart. They didn't know this, but God knew it. That's how he can write. He told you, I will write my law in the tablets of your heart. It's true. Everything is true. Man did not know that 2,000 years ago, 4,000 years ago when he said it. But they've found out now there is a heart has a brain with memory. So every word you can trust, it is all true. So don't worry if you think you're not hearing from him, you will hear from him when you look in his word. He will find a way because he is the way. He is the truth and he is the life and he loves you and he's coming for you. Do not doubt it. You may feel he has left you. He has not left you. He is right there with you and he knows your pain. I pray for you all. I pray for you all. I pray for you all. May God have mercy upon you. May he show you his light. And may he come for you soon. In Jesus' holy name, I pray the prayer for you of peace.